Hello. Okay, it's been a while since we've watched a video, but today this video is very short, very to the point, um, and it's going to cover our two-dimensional figures, which we started talking about the other day, but we're going to focus on the angles, interior and exterior. So there's an interior angle sum, which means add up all the angles. In this particular figure, there are angle A, angle B, C, D, E, and F, and this got left off, angle E and angle F. So if we add them all together, well, that'll tell me how many degrees are in there. But to, in order to get that, what you're going to do is you're going to take this formula, S, which is sum, equals 180 degrees times the number of sides minus 2. So for example, the number of sides, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So since we have 6 sides, we're going to replace the N with a 6. So we get sum, actually we'll just do it this way. We'll take 180 times 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4, so you get 180 times 4, which is 720. So that means there are 720 degrees inside. So if we try it with this one, okay, take your formula, 180 times n minus 2. How many sides do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 sides. So we're going to replace the n with a 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. 180 times 3 is 540. So that means there are 540 degrees inside. So remember, a triangle has 180 degrees. Well, a quadrilateral would have 4 minus 2, so 2 times 180, and so on. So no matter what you do, you take the number of sides, subtract 2, and it gives you 180. Okay, so what if I only wanted one angle, just a single interior angle? I only want to know what this one angle is. And this only works on regular polygons. You can't use it on anything else, only regular. So what you do is you find all the degrees inside. So remember your N is the number of sides. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So N is 6. So I'll fill it in, 180 times 6 minus 2, which is 720, okay? Now, what you do once you find the total inside, so now we know that the total inside is 720, you're going to divide by how many sides there are. So 720 divided by 6 is 120, which means that each angle is the same, because it's regular, remember? So every single angle is the same, and they're all 120 degrees each. So what if we try it on an equilateral triangle? All your sides are the same. All the angles are the same. So how many sides do we have? Well, we have three sides, so that would be 3 minus 2. Well, what is 3 minus 2? Well, that's 1. So now you divide by 3, and you get 60. That's why each angle is 60. Now, what about the exterior angles? Okay, the exteriors. So if I were to take and extend each side of this hexagon, so I'm just going to kind of go in a clockwise. So I'm going to go around. I'm just extending each side, making it just a little bit longer, where it almost looks like a door of some kind. Now, since all of these angles are the same, remember they're all 120 from the previous problem? So if each one of these angles is 120, then the one next to it makes a linear pair, so they're going to all be 60, right? So you've got six angles that are 60. Well, if six angles are 60, well, 6 times 60 is 360. So now let's do the same thing with the triangle. So we're going to extend each side, and again, I'm just going to pick a side and go clockwise. So 
So remember from the other problem that we found out that each one of these angles was 60. So that means the one next to it is linear. So that would make 120, 120, 120. So now I've got three angles that are all 120 each. So that comes to 360. So what do you think is going to happen with the quadrilateral? If you extend each side, so we're just making outside angles. So remember, in a square, all the angles are 90, okay? So if this square, because remember, this only works on regular, so they have to be 90. If these are all 90, then aren't the angles next to them also 90 because they're a linear pair? So that would be 4 times 90, which is also 360. So it doesn't matter how many sides you have. If you add up all the outside angles, every single time, no matter what, it always adds up to 360. Always. But what if I only wanted one? Okay, so we already know all the, the angles are going to add up to 360. Okay, but what if I only wanted to know one angle? Okay, well, if this is 120, we know this is going to be 60, right? Because we know they're a linear pair. But what if we didn't know that? What if we didn't know the interior angle? Well, we know all the outside ones add up to 360. Then we would just divide by how many there are. Oops. We would divide by how many there are. So there are six. So 360 divided by six is 60. So that's why your outside angle is 60. 360 divided by three, 120. 360 divided by 4, 90. So that's why if you know all the angles add up to 360, you can just simply divide by how many there are and get what the outside is. All right. Now, given a regular nonagon, remember nonagon, nine sides, the exterior angle sum. So what do all the outside angles add up to? 360. So one angle would be 360 divided by 9, which would be 40. Well, if this angle is 40, then this one is linear to it. Right? So you've got this linear pair right here. So this is 40, then this one has to be 140. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do the interior angle sum, which remember is 180 times n minus 2. So that would be 180 times 9 minus 2, which would be 180 times 7. So 180 times 7 is 1260. So that means all these angles add up to 1260. Well, if I wanted just one of them, and I didn't know this was 40, then I would have to do 1260 divided by 9. So 1260 divided by 9 is 140. So you can find the interior angle by just finding the exterior and subtracting from 180. 180 minus 40 was also 140. Or you could do the formula either way. All right, so what if I told you the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 135? Find how many sides it has. Okay, so the measure of one, an interior angle, so that would be one. So that means I would have to do 180 times n minus 2, and then divide by how many sides there are, and all of that is supposed to equal 135. And this is the algebraic method. There's this, this way, and then there's another method. I'll show you both. So the first thing I need to do is, um, since I have an n in the denominator, if I divide both sides, or sorry, if I multiply both sides by n, I get 180 n minus 2 equals 135 n. Multiply both sides by n. Now I'm going to distribute the 180. So 180 n minus 360 equals 135. I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 180 n from both sides. Don't forget your n there. 
like I just did. And we'll go ahead and draw this line to keep it straight. So I bring down negative 360 equals, now I've got 135 minus 180, and that would be negative 45. And now I'm going to divide by negative 45 on both sides. Cancels, and I'm left with N. So now I've got a negative over negative, which becomes positive. So now I've got 360 divided by 45, which gives me 8. That means I have a figure with eight sides. What figure has eight sides? It's an octagon. So this polygon has eight sides, so it is an octagon. Now, there is an easier way, and we call this off the chain. So it says the measure of one interior angle. So one interior angle is 135. Find the number of sides. Well, if this is 135, I can find this one, right? So remember, 180 minus 135 is 45. So this would be 45 degrees. Now remember all the outside angles, no matter how many sides there are, they add up to 360. Well, what if I were to divide 360 by 45? That's what you get. 8 you get that your figure is an octagon. And all you needed to do was draw three sides because since we didn't know how many sides it had, it's just a polygon. We're just going to use three sides so that we can extend one so that we can get the interior and the exterior angle. So we can do this. So we can go here and do all of this or here, subtract, divide, get done. All right. The measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 144. So I don't know how many sides I have because that's what they want me to find. So I'm just going to draw three sides so I can borrow them. And then I'm going to extend one side. So I'll just extend this side. All right. So it says the interior is 144. So that means this angle is 144. So I need to go 180 minus 144. 180 minus 144 is 36. So that means this angle is 36. So remember all the outside angles. Remember if I were to do this one here, this one would also be 36. So they all add up to 360. Well, 360 divided by 36 is 10. So that means this has 10 sides. It's a decagon. All right, find the measure of each interior angle. So first of all, um, if this were a triangle, remember if you had the triangle, you would say this angle plus this angle plus this angle, and you would say they equal 180. Well, how many sides does this one have? Okay. This one has four sides, so I need to go, okay, 180 times n minus 2. So 180 times 4 minus 2. 180 times 2 is 360. So since I have four sides, the interior sum is 360. So that means all four angles have to add up to 360. So 11x plus 4 plus 5x plus 11x plus 4 plus 5x equals 360. So I'm going to add my like terms. I have 11, 5, 11, 5. So 32x, and then add up all your whole numbers. 4 plus 4 is 8. So 32x plus 8 equals 360. Now subtract your 8. 32x equals 352. Now divide by 32. 352 divided by 32 is 11. So if I divide by both sides by 32, I get that x is 11. So is that what they wanted me to find? Find the measure of each. Oh, no. x is 11. So that means I have to plug it back in. So 5 times 11 is 55. 
So this angle is 55, and this angle is 55. These two are going to be the same. They're going to be 11 times 11 plus 4, so 121 plus 4, 125. So that makes this angle 125, and this angle is 125. All right, one more time. We've got one, two, three, four sides. So four sides, remember when there's four sides, the sum is 360. So I know all four angles have to add up to 360. So 360 is equal to 10x plus 6x plus 6x plus 3x minus 15. So 360. So we're just finding x this time. We don't have to plug it back in. So 10, 6, 6, 3. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 25x minus 15. So let's add 15 to both sides to cancel. So 375 is equal to 25x. Divide both sides by 25. So 375 divided by 25 is 15. So x is 15. And our answer is C. So I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.